Hello YouTube, this is uh, Humble Kagu here, and I'm going to be doing a let's play of Limbo. So let's go right ahead and start a new game. So, um, actually this game was gifted to me a while back by a friend, and I really didn't know much or anything about it at all, other than it was, you know, some new indie game. And it surprised me, actually. It's, it's got, you know, pretty simplistic mechanics, but it was very enjoyable, very atmospheric. Um, I'm going to try my best to not really talk too much, so that way you guys can just enjoy the atmosphere. Uh, maybe I'll chime in every once in a while to explain a game mechanic or what's going on. Uh, so like right now, so essentially you just start off out of nowhere. If you don't read into it, you don't really know what the plot is going on. But um, it has something to do with a, a boy looking for his sister in this, I guess, limbo area. It's in between death and uh, live, or the afterlife and actually living. So you can see up there, it was a pretty simple little puzzle. Just pull that back, climb over. Um, it's just essentially um, explaining to you the mechanics of the game without a tutorial, which I kind of like. This whole black and white tone or graphics it's pretty cool too it adds to the atmosphere I feel like and the very limited amount of music as well So you can see as well, there's a very minimal amount of enemies. I will I will encounter some, you know, traps or things that will lead me to my death. Like, for example, these bear traps. You know, the first time playing through, you might not know what they are and just straight up run into them. believe yeah no not yet right better put the bear trap underneath here because with that whatever that thing is hanging on the rope it's making it too heavy and that'll pull it right off Okay, <clears throat> well here's something I, oops, I kind of disliked about it at first, was the fact that this is sort of trial and error. Um, there's going to be this giant boulder that's going to come rolling down. The first time you play through, you're not expecting it, so you're just going to keep running. Um, if you didn't react fast enough, the thing would have killed you, which happened to me the first time I played it. But this time I was obviously aware of the fact it was coming.
there actually may come a time where uh, I don't remember how to solve a puzzle because it actually has been a while since I've played this game. These, these earlier areas I have pretty good memory of since I've played them over a few times. Oh, and if you didn't notice, at the very beginning of the level I walked immediately backwards and I picked up one of these little glowy things. Um, they actually don't what's it don't unlock anything in the game it's purely intended I, I believe just as an achievement I'm not quite sure if it did anything similar to raid where it had those hidden stars and you get a different ending well somewhat of a different So this is one of the first boss enemy encounters. Spider, which is actually going to be a recurring enemy. Oops, see, gotta get close enough. And it'll strip. And then you're like, whoa, what was that sound? So you see that bear trap up there. You realize, oh, maybe if he keeps hitting the ground. Let's see. There you go. You're like, oh, what is this for? Obviously intended for the spider's legs. Gotta trick him into. Oops. My bad. Except up a little bit of higher ground. There we go. Bam! You, you rip off his leg. Alright, let's do this again. I don't think I actually have to. Okay, never mind. I do. How did I miss that? Ooh, there goes the other leg. Okay. Okay, I'm a little rusty, I guess, or I'm trying to. I feel like I'm trying. I'm attempting to go through it really fast, which I really shouldn't. Definitely don't try to rush through the game. Just enjoy the environment and the atmosphere. That's what happened. That one can reach further, I guess. Oh, maybe not. There it goes. All three legs are ripped off. Although, it looks like it was just the tips of the leg. Oh no, I'm stuck. Oh no. Oh no, the spider's coming.
Well, at least it didn't kill me. There we go. Oop. But now, whatever am I to do being covered in spiders? Silk or whatever. Very, really limits my movement here. comes a spider again. Go. Go. And what do you know? I am free. Still got some of it stuck in my hair though, but it's no big deal. What is that? Whoa! Ooh. forgot about that part but <laughs> managed to react fast enough so this concept of limbo I've always believed it to be and what is this a place where I guess your spirit or soul or whatever you want to call it when you as a person dies your spirit gets stuck in this area called limbo it's a place in between the afterlife and actually being alive and usually I feel like it happens because you feel like maybe you left some unfinished business or something holding you back from reaching the afterlife and as you saw there you, you begin to encounter these guys that are for some reason, trying to prevent you from proceeding forward. Essentially, they're trying to actively kill you as you'll... Oh no! I think I actually could have jumped over it, but... This higher would have been too big. As you can see, see, like, why are these guys trying to stop me? And why are there people, you know, hung in the background as such? What the? Right, so I noticed you set up this trap here. And I forget how to not get killed by it, but let's see. Oh! Screwed. 
think you have to activate the first one and run this way. <laughs> okay. So you activate the first one. That and uh, wall off. I did not even mean to do that. Okay, no, no, now I remember. So you activate the first one, run back, run back, and then, nope. I realize I'm not even supposed to go that way. Silly me, as you can begin to see, I'm starting to forget some of these. again. I actually don't know <laughs> what I'm supposed to. <laughs> oh wait, that's a log. <laughs> yeah, and as you also notice right there, you can't swim. So as soon as you go into the water deep enough to where covers your character's head, you're pretty much dead. Thank you, spider. Hmm. Oh god. What did I just do? No, I guess I am actually ripping off the legs of the spider. Cool. I feel like since this is an indie game, I feel all these sort of imagery and objects they use probably have some sort of deeper meaning. I don't really want to philosophize or try to figure it out, really. It's just I just enjoyed the gameplay of this game a lot. And so the spider has returned with only one leg left. Whoa. My bad. Okay. you now. Oh. I guess it's leg got stuck. Yep. Yeah. Now it's finally dead. Or maybe not yet actually. Maybe it's still alive. It just doesn't have his legs anymore. Not for long. Now I think it's finally dead. <laughs> 